Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homeowner Series. Today we will be going on a week-long camping trip to the Smoky Mountains. I just finished packing a big bag of snacks for the trip up. And all of our clothes are packed and in the camper. Let's get all the toys loaded up so that we can head on out. This is our first camping trip here of the summer. The kids just got out of school last week and I thought this would be the perfect time to take some off-road toys in our sports car to the mountains. For this trip, we have rented a Fleetwood Camper. It's a 2020 F450 model and we are actually the first renters of it, which is pretty neat. Only 200 miles on the odometer. Now this morning I did come out here a bit early and get the trailer attached and ready to go. I also did double check to make sure the Honda and the players are good to go on oil and gas. Let's get both of these turned on here and loaded up. Over the last few weeks I've gotten quite a few requests to go camping. And with all of our hard work done here at the property and at the ranch, I thought this would be the perfect time to go have some fun and, and a great vacation. Now we will actually have to turn this model here here just a little bit it's just not enough room here on the 18 foot low trail let's see if we could just pick it up here and rotate it around it's gonna be a little tricky and uh, luckily it's uh, pretty light here for us so we'll have to do two three times uh, to get the uh, back swung around and wow that seems to be good sometimes that's always tricky uh, but we were able to get that on the first try I'm really excited to be going to the Smoky Mountains. It's a lot of fun there. Lots and lots of fun things. Uh, they do have some pretty cool trails here for our off-road toys, but some good driving roads uh, to take our sports car on. And I have decided, why don't we take the Ranger Raptor, see how it does towing for the first time. And also, I did want to take uh, the Audi R8. So this is all loaded up. Now, I actually want this to idle for probably 10 to 15 minutes as well, because this is going to be a long, multi-hour drive up there. Let's get the Range Raptor out. The wife's been driving it quite a lot lately. And let's get this EcoBoost started up here. Now, I think with the uh, trailer and the car together, we'll probably be at 4,500 pounds. That is in aluminum trailer, so it's a little bit lighter uh, than some of the other enclosed trailers. We'll get backed up here to it. Now, we will be using the Falling Mod just to get out there. It's going to be a lot easier here for us as well. And perfect. It's a little tight here in the driveway, but I don't see a problem. Now, many of you guys really did enjoy the video picking up uh, that rental as well, which is awesome. And I can't wait uh, to just have a great week. Now, we will be back Friday morning, uh, so we head to the ranch to do uh, some projects over there. And this will be our first big trip here with the R8. I really want to bring the GT3 to the mountains, but I think we'll probably head to the Smoky Mountains probably at the end of the summer. And then that is when we'll, we'll take the GT3. And right there seems to be good. We got it all strapped down there, the uh, strap on each tire. I really, really do not want to do that, but that's just the best way to do it, especially when it's so low. We can't really get to any of the strapping points. Let's get the doors closed and we'll head on out. Now, if you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like. It really lets me know you enjoy it, but it also helps out with the YouTube algorithms. Awesome, so everything is ready to go. Let's get the uh, 450 pulled out into the streets and get the following mod working. So far, we've had a great summer here for the channel, and there's a lot more things to come. Even a big surprise that I'm working on. Maybe a week, maybe a few weeks. I really want to get it uh, perfect before I reveal it. We'll get the uh, Ranger Raptor here. Now this is awesome. Now the Ranger Raptor and the R8 are pretty new, but I thought, why don't we just take them and have some fun uh, with the, the uh, family? And I have noticed there's quite a bit of lag when you do drive over those uh, flowers there alongside the driveway. So we got the following lot all set up. We should be good to go there. Awesome. Let's hop in the uh, 450 and head on out. Now this is a very long drive up to the mountains, but I'm up for it and it should be a great time. Yep, there comes the ranger behind us. Now it looks like the hazard lights inside here do need to be fixed because they aren't currently on. Usually when there's a custom build like this, they actually bought uh, the 450 and put the Fleetwood chassis on the back. But this is pretty cool and you guys can see this is going to be one awesome camping trip. I really want to get everything set up and I think we'll first have some fun in the Audi and then we'll go get uh, covered in dirt out on those toys. 
It's been a very long drive, but we are getting pretty close here to the campgrounds. I think we're probably 3-4 miles out, but these mountain hills so far have been no problem for this big, big camper. This power stroke's been doing a pretty good job, and the Ranger Raptor has been behind us falling along just uh, perfectly. I'm really excited to be back here in the Carolina Mountains. I really do like the Smoky Mountains. It's a pretty popular area uh, for camping and for just having great vacations. Now, if you guys are new here to the channel, I do ask that you please subscribe. We are growing, growing faster and faster, and I'm very excited for what's to come. Now, it looks like these roads are getting a bit narrow and a bit tight, so we'll try to get as close as we can here to the center, and it looks like some pretty big rocks are coming up, so we'll have to watch this side. We do not want to damage this very expensive camper. I would expect <laughs> this camper uh, to almost be probably $200,000 here. And we are coming around a tight turn here. Now, all these turns with uh, the R8 will be a lot of fun. Now, we just purchased that pretty recently. I have put quite a few miles on it, but why don't we have fun? Usually, the break-in period is probably 500 to 1,000 miles, and we're probably at almost 600 miles so far. Pretty steep hill here for us, but I think we'll be arriving any minute now. It should be coming up on the, I think it's the left-hand side. Oh yeah, definitely has to be. So it should be coming up any minute now. And was that the trail there? Nope, it should be. And here it is to our left. Perfect, we found it. Sometimes the GPS is a bit tricky, especially when we aren't really used to it in this uh, 450 button. Sometimes they don't put you to the correct location, but luckily we are just about to get here and there should be this campgrounds here. So perfect, we have arrived. Probably not the best area. Let's see, can we back up and readjust here? Wasn't expecting it to be such a short area, but uh, this looks to be it. awesome. And I think right here seems to be good. just trying to get a little bit closer here. And this is always a little tricky, but I, I kind of like it right about here as well. So let's get to the camper folded out here and also the ramps down. Awesome, the Fleetwood is all set up here. One thing we do have to kind of get the uh, power stroke turned off here, but wow, uh, this camper was pretty good. For $1,500, I would much rather rent one uh, than to spend... Uh, uh, almost $200,000 on uh, buying one and I also just like using different ones as well this Ranger Raptor definitely uh, doing a pretty good job here but we're pretty much all set up so let's put the ramps down on this uh, that way we could have some fun but let's go have some fun there on the, the RAs there were some pretty good roads on the way up here and loading and unloading is just going to be a little unrealistic here for us let's see what we could do I just got the R8 unloaded and put the ramps away. That way nothing goes on the inside. Let's get this turned around here. Probably not the best to drive a sports car like this. A supercar on dirt, but we should be fine. And let's go have some fun. I think we'll just start by opening up here on these roads. We've drove in uh, quite a number of miles just to have some fun. And let's just see how this does. Now this R8 here is a V10, so it drinks quite a lot of gas, and it is also all-wheel drive, uh, which is great as well. I'm really excited though for the three-wheeler and for the players. Mainly I just brought this to have some fun for only a few minutes and uh, for probably four or five miles the entire time. But overall, that Range Raptor did a pretty good job towing this as well. Yeah, I think we'll make the trip back up there, turn around here, and it looks like we are in uh, farmland here, which is awesome. Get, turn around here, and let's head on back. If you do have any cool video ideas here for me, please let me know. I really do enjoy using your feedback, your ideas to make videos and uh, do things that you guys really do like. And I'm trying to feature a camping video every uh, few weeks to a month. I don't really want to do too many of them because we have so many other cool things happening. But uh, these are always a lot of fun here. So this uh, R8 has been great uh, so far. But why don't we... I uh, get this uh, kind of put back. I don't think we'll load it up on the trailer. I might take one of the kids or even hit the wife out on uh, it for a spin. And let's actually just drive it right over here. Our campgrounds looks pretty nice here, but uh, it's just time for us to go have some fun. I think the uh, two-seater players will probably max out speed-wise. Don't want to go too fast on the three-wheeler uh, because I don't really know these trails. There is actually a trail down here that we'll see how it goes. 
Now I am using the new microphone hut and I've really been liking it and I'm also using uh, the farm sim control panel as well. This actually looks to be a little campground area so let's go up here and let's just have some fun. I'm almost going to play dodgeball here with the streets and just don't hit them. Just having so much fun here and we also don't want to lose uh, sight of our campgrounds. That wouldn't be a good thing but wow this is one awesome area. I really do like these mountains. Big big mountains. I think we're probably a 10,000 feet above sea level already and that is quite a lot for us since we're usually at only a, a few thousand feet at most. And just so fast here, really getting on the brakes there in a few areas. And we should be coming back soon to the campground. Looks like we are back here on the road. So let's go back and switch to the three wheeler. Bouncing around quite a lot here. It's quite a lot of work. Now, one thing we'll have to do is to definitely hop in the shower after this. We are already covered in dust, dirt, so many different things. Now, this will be a little tricky here for us, but I should be able to uh, just tilt it. This probably was a better way uh, to load and unload, but uh, we kind of learn. And let's see, can we get on in? Perfect. Now, I have noticed when I try to get in, it sometimes puts a strap down on there. So I will definitely have to look into fixing that. And let's have some fun here with a three-wheeler. I don't really want to go too fast. And also, I don't really want to go on too many big trails. But let's see what this can do. I actually really want to get some air with this. I think that will be pretty cool. But let's go on this side. really haven't been exploring over here. Now this upcoming week here on the channel will be a lot of fun. I'm really excited for it and I can't wait uh, for all of the cool videos. We'll be back with a landscaping series, probably some multiplayer this week. I've been really trying to uh, do it and I'm really excited for it. Oh yeah, this three wheeler is pretty nice. Probably going just around uh, 10 miles per hour, no problem. And we don't want to go through there, it looks like a big, big uh, rock area. Can't really see where we are going, just trying uh, to have fun while uh, not uh, hitting anything. Wow, this was a fun camping trip so far here. I think we'll just leave these the kids and the wife can go have some fun on those as well. The last thing I want to do is set up a campfire so we could have some marshmallows and a Hershey chocolate and the uh, just s'mores in general. But hope you guys enjoyed today's camping video here with the homeowner series. We took the Ranger Raptor, the R8, the Polaris, the Honda, and the Fleetwood uh, to the Smoky Mountains. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and to subscribe for more.